How common are myths about sexuality in today's society? What does research say about sexual abstinence? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Myths about sexuality are quite common in today's society. Lack of accurate sexual education and the influence of cultural stereotypes can contribute to the spread of misconceptions. Debunking these myths is essential to promote a healthier and more realistic understanding of sexuality. Research on sexual abstinence shows that it can be a valid choice for some people in certain circumstances, such as preventing unwanted pregnancies or sexually transmitted diseases. However, there is no strong evidence that abstinence is the best option in all cases. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This means they can reach climax several times in a short period without the need for a refractory period, which is common in men. Myths about premature ejaculation. There are several myths surrounding premature ejaculation, such as the belief that it is an issue exclusive to young men or that it is always related to lack of interest in the sexual partner. Need for relaxation. Relaxation is key for a pleasurable experience. The anal sphincter must relax to allow comfortable and enjoyable penetration. No relation to sexual orientation. Engaging in anal sex is not related to sexual orientation. Both heterosexual and homosexual women can enjoy this activity. Nonverbal communication. During foreplay, nonverbal communication, such as moans, whispers, and body gestures, can be as important as words to express desire and pleasure. Not for everyone. While open relationships work well for some people, they are not suitable for everyone. Some people find more satisfaction in traditional monogamous relationships, and it's okay to have different preferences regarding relationship styles. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. Orgasm and aging. Although sexual response may change with age, many older individuals continue to enjoy an active sex life and satisfying orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. This can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Orgasms and menopause. Some women experience an increase in the frequency and intensity of orgasms after menopause, as hormonal changes can positively impact sexual function. Pain mitigation. Gradual pressure application and the use of sex toys can help mitigate the initial pain associated with anal penetration. Passion for learning. Showing interest in learning new things and continuing intellectual growth can be attractive. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Persistent sexual arousal syndrome. Some people experience a disorder known as persistent sexual arousal syndrome, characterized by continuous sexual arousal without desire. This can be extremely uncomfortable and may require treatment. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. Physical and psychological causes. Anorgasmia can have diverse causes, ranging from physical factors like hormonal issues or medical conditions to psychological factors such as stress, anxiety, depression, or traumatic experiences. Physical build. Some women may find different types of physique attractive, whether slender, athletic, or with a bit of weight, depending on personal preferences. Pleasure. Without penetration, penetration is not necessary for experiencing anal pleasure. 
external stimulation with fingers or toys can also be pleasurable. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Pornography and freedom of speech. Pornography raises debates about freedom of speech and the limits of what is considered protected speech, generating discussions about individual rights and social responsibility. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Post-experience. After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Preference for long hair. Some research suggests that people often find individuals with long hair more attractive. This could be related to perceived health and fertility. Preparation. Proper preparation, such as relaxation and the use of lubricants, can make the experience more enjoyable and comfortable. Prevention and timely treatment are crucial for controlling the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Awareness campaigns, access to sexual and reproductive health services, and sexual education are key components of efforts to address this public health issue. Primary versus secondary anorgasmia. Primary anorgasmia refers to the inability to achieve orgasm from the onset of sexual activity, while secondary anorgasmia occurs after having previously experienced orgasms regularly. Promotion of self-knowledge. The Kama Sutra is not just about sexual activity with another person, but also emphasizes the importance of self-knowledge and personal exploration as crucial elements for a fulfilling and satisfying sex life. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. Relation to pleasure. For some people, anal sex can provide additional pleasure due to the stimulation of nerve endings in the anal area. Relationship between sex and health. Sex can have numerous health benefits, including stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, and improving mood. Relaxing effects. Orgasms release endorphins, acting as natural painkillers, which can help reduce pain, alleviate stress, and improve mood. This explains why many people feel relaxed and happy after an orgasm. Respect and consent. It is essential to respect boundaries and obtain consent from the partner during foreplay. Women should feel safe and comfortable at all times and have the freedom to stop or change the activity if they wish. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.